Okay, if you're watching this video, you have either been linked through my, uh, through the Seven Awesome Slashers channel, uh, to here, or you're one of my regular subscribers, in which case, what are you doing? This isn't even a real channel. What I want to talk about today is basically, I just wanted to say how sad I am. I am the saddest sad panda to ever exist as sad pandas. Um, because Borders, my favorite bookstore, is closing. Um, pretty sure any nerd fighters or just nerds in general have heard about this. The reason I'm so sad is because Borders was my favorite bookstore. Like, 85% of the books that I've ever bought, I bought at Borders. Because I just like their store so much better. Uh, luckily where I live, um, the Borders and the Barnes & Noble are, like, right next to each other. So, I'm still gonna have a bookstore at least. What makes me really sad, uh, god damn it, Sierra, main reason I'm so down about Borders closing is because it was always like the unwritten code of going to the mall that you would go to Borders. Like, regardless of why you were at the mall that day, you always went to Borders. Like, you would always, you didn't always have to buy something. You didn't always have to be, like, looking out for a certain book or a certain CD. We always went in there. You always at least looked around. I went Thursday to their um, closing out sale with my dad and went and bought, you know, a couple of books and whatever. Um, and it was just, it was one of the saddest shopping experiences I've ever had because I loved that store. I went in that store all the time and the shelves were just being emptied. And we went in, you know, just a couple of days after they were announced they were going out of business. You could already see how much stuff was gone and how bare the shelves were. They had all the furniture, um, like, roped off and saying, you know, all for sale. The signs up everywhere said, everything must go, 20 to 40 percent off of everything in the store. It just made me so sad, because, um, just the other week, when I went to see Harry Potter, Larissa and I went up there, just seemed, you know, fine. And now it's not... not going to be there anymore when I go to the mall. There's going to be something else in there. That friendly spot where Borders always used to be. You know, you could walk, you could go in, get a new book, grab a pretzel on the way out, and just not going to be able to happen anymore, and it just makes me really, really sad. But, uh, I guess it's good that I was able to see it right before it completely went, because I know if I, if, I know if I, like, go any time this weekend, it's just going to be, it's going to totally ruin my memory of it because it's going to be, like, ransacked. I guess the point I'm trying to make with this is uh, I really have a lot of memories in that store, and, uh, it's kind of a comfort to me, and that's one less comfort that I'm going to have. Um, so that's my two cents. It's not really a, an opinion or anything, just a lament of the fall of the paperback age, I guess. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, and if you'd like to see more of me, I would suggest you subscribe to 7 o No, no. I'm not even going to pimp out... No. I feel like that's disrespect to Borders to try to pimp out my own collaborative channel. Um, so thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy your day.